Alright, Rob. Alright. How are you doing? Yeah, not bad. What are you doing here? Oh, sort of pop in and say hello. Yeah. Should we do the podcast with cameras and stuff then? Yeah, might as well. Why not? Let's do it. Uh, okay, well, this is weird. This is really strange. We're, for people who don't normally watch this, in fact, no one watches it normally, do they? Apart from the Discord lot. No, Discord that's true. Guys, um, we're now on camera, which is strange. And you're in 3D. I am. Which is a very strange thing to. to I suppose I am as well, aren't I? In a way. Well, yeah. So, well, we've talked every two weeks for some years. Three years, possibly. I never met until no. just now. It's, um, yeah. You're taller than I thought you'd be. All right. I'm probably shorter and you've got even less hair than you thought I had. Um, but we, we probably should also say that this is now going to be a YouTube thing. We have, we've set up a YouTube channel, or rather Niall, my GM, has set up a new, uh, YouTube channel, uh, and we're going to publish this as a, as a video going forward. So please subscribe and click, click the bell and do all that stuff. Um, let's get straight into it. Let's, go, let's just go for it. And we should say as well, we're, we're, we're recording this two weeks out from it going live. So if anything massive happens in the week of whatever it is next week, the 12th of December or whatever it is, uh, we, that's why we didn't talk about it, basically. <laughs> that's fair enough. Just give you that caveat. So um, what should we talk about first? AirPods Max? Yeah, go for it. Um, so I had a little epiphany. Well, firstly, you don't have a pair of these, do you? Um, I don't, but Mrs. Rob does. They also don't stand up when you put them like that. But um, yeah, she's got, and is she still enjoying them? Yeah, uses them every day. So uh, we've recently got into a bunch of BBC iPlayer stuff, specifically Shetland. Okay. So, like, just historically, we've, we've watched sort of crime dramas and stuff. We'd never heard of this Shetland. Apparently, it's been going for 10 years. It's uh, based on books by Anne Cleves, who okay. also wrote Vera which Mrs. Rob is also very into. I'm aware of it. Anyway, this is on iPlayer, and she struggles with hearing dialogue, particularly as we have to turn the telly down with the kids now when they're in bed. Um, iPlayer doesn't seem to have subtitles. I don't know whether it's specific to this programme or the whole app. I don't know if you ever tried to use the subtitles on the Apple TV iPlayer app. Okay, no. doesn't seem to work. Um, so she quite often watches the TV using her AirPods Max um, and, and loves them. Yeah. Well, I, I just thought I'd... But basically, I'm doing an experiment, so I thought for a month I'll just wear these exclusively, basically. Bearing in mind, as you've just noticed, I've got a million pairs of headphones. They are, they're all stuffed down there in the, um, the, the kind of area where all the, the, the stuff's put. But it's... Because of that, I've not really owned those properly, so I've not owned them like a normal, regular person would. So I thought, why not try and just wear, just use AirPods Max for a month and see, one, if I like them, two, if my thing about the case is justified, because I've spent all my life, the you know, last three years, throwing this around, um, to see if that's justified. And also, to try and work out why so many people now seem to have these. Have you noticed loads of people wearing them? Can't say I have, although my next door neighbour's son got a pair recently, which okay. I was quite excited about. Just yeah, you just, I, I don't tend to see them out in the wild. You see a lot of AirPods. You do. Not so, not so much the over ears. They're just everywhere. I, I think I, I noticed them in, in New York a lot when I first went there, and then in London quite a bit, which is understandable. It's affluent and all the rest of it, isn't it? Um, but even in Warwickshire, which is relatively affluent, but not, not as much as, you know, some big cities and stuff. Loads of people seem to have them there. So I, I just want to see. Plus, we're getting a new version next year, apparently, aren't we? Potentially. With USB-C, new colours, and, and that's it, apparently. What else do they need to do? Well, they, 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 I read an interview with the, with the sound guy at Apple, mm -hmm. the audio guy at Apple, and he was hinting at them finding some way of doing lossless quite some time ago. Mm. And we know that there are new chips from Qualcomm which offer lossless over Wi-Fi, um, which we suspect that Sonos will be doing something with with their headphones that are supposed to be coming out next year. So hopefully, hopefully there'll be some sort of bump in, in audio quality, like you know, at a, at a data level in addition to whatever they do to the drivers and... You'd hope so, wouldn't you? Yes, they've got to do something, haven't they? It's, it'll be four years, because they're saying that it's going to be 
end of 2024, which will be four years since they were they were originally introduced. It's a long time, isn't it? It's just um, if it's, if it's I mean USB C would be a massive thing for me because I've gone on about it on and on and on about it. But if it's just that in colours, I, I think the idea of having the the lossless stuff because you know, some, some, some kind of proprietary Apple codec built into it. Nice. I do think we need to do something about this. Personally. Yeah, absolutely. That's Does Mrs. Rob like or not like, or is she indifferent about it? Oh, we, we've talked about this before. She loves it because it looks like a handbag. Of course. That's all that matters. I just don't get it. I still don't get it. But anyway, I'm gonna, so I'm going to wear these for a month. I started it about a week ago. I do quite like just wearing them. I do quite like this whole thing of just doing It makes me feel younger and cooler and hipper and stuff, but just like walking around with them like this. Not using them that often, but just having them around the neck. I think they're quite a decent looking pair of headphones. So how many days into this experiment are you? About currently? a week. About yeah, a week. About seven days. How's it going so far? To be fair, it's okay. One thing I have noticed, actually, which I noticed yesterday, bearing in mind, I haven't, like I said a minute ago, I haven't worn these in anger or used them as a normal, regular person would. The Someone noticed, someone mentioned this actually on the, um, in, in the comments section on, on YouTube recently. The canopy has lost some of its um, oh, it has, it? rigidity. And uh, I noticed that when I mentioned this on the, that, that I was doing this experiment on my um, the YouTube uh, community page, and a guy said, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm similarly uh, follically challenged as yourself. And he said, have you had this problem with the canopy where it's over, over time, basically, it's lessened. It's kind of whatever you'd call it. Um, and which means this part of it, which is very, you know, that, that kind of um, band across the top is really kind of stiff rests on your head and if you don't have hair that's quite uncomfortable i've not experienced that but it's definitely more it wasn't like that when they first arrived so that's worrying interesting well I, yeah I, I hadn't taken a close look at mm. mrs robs which are you know i can't remember when she got them you know it was a good year and so they get worn every day but no so far apart from that it's been fine to be honest it's uh, they're not the best sounding pair of headphones i've used recently but they, um, they do the job audio-wise. They've got all the spatial audio stuff, which is nice. The, they are the best over-ear headphones for calling still, I think, because of the transparency mode. Um, and it's, the lightning thing's annoying. That's, that's the other thing that is very irritating. Now, given that we have iPhones now with you know, USB-C, um, that has been a bit of a pain. Yeah. I mean, have they not been obsoleted by the AirPods Pro 2, though, which sound yeah. pretty much as good with none of the faff? Yeah, well, massively, yeah, yeah. So, why? Why are you doing this? Why? I don't really know. <laughs> I, I, I think partly because I've, I've just seen so many people wearing them, it's, it's, in, it's inspired me to get them out again. And also because I do happen to switch between headphones regularly for my job anyway. But I thought, there's not going to be, as far as I'm aware anyway, there's not going to be any significant releases between now and the start of you know, mid-January in terms of um, headphones. I'm, I've said that now, something will come out next week, won't it? Um, so because of that, I've got time, and I've got time to, to wear them. So. How do they stack up against modern headphones, so to speak? As you say, they're coming up to, you know, they'll be four mm. years old by the time they get replaced, if indeed they do get replaced next year. And you've got things like your Focal batteries and yep. your, what else is there? The PX, the there, Thousand Wilkins, PX8s, PX8, the, yep. the new Bose that you've done a comparison on recently. Quite Comfort Ultra, yep. Yeah. Where, are they still sort of there or thereabouts? They're much heavier. <laughs> Really heavy. That's, that's one thing I have noticed. I think most headphones that were released this year, like the the Ultras and the you know, the PX sevens and S two Es and the eights and things, they're all um, they're all pretty light headphones. Where the, these are heavy, they are. You suddenly realise just how heavy the AirPods Max are, which didn't bother me when I first got them. But I know a lot of people have said that's quite a bit of a you know, it's a bit of a sticking point for people. Um, but in terms of sound and stuff, they they like I say, they're not the best. They they have nearly the best noise cancelling, but not it's not on a, a patch on. In fact, even the XM fives that they're better than these noise cancelling. Um, but they've got the best transparency mode by quite a distance. Interesting. I've got another pair of headphones for you to look at, though. Okay. And I am uh, very curious to hear about your thoughts on the colour. So <laughs> these. So I did this comparison earlier in the week. Those are the QC45s, both QC45s, which are a fantastic pair of headphones. These, standard, is she? standard absolutely, uh, and, and still for sale by Bose, which is confusing now because we now have these, which apart from the colour of the Bose logo, which is white on the new ones, whitish, um, they look identical, apart from the colour. Uh, but these are, these are the quiet comforts, which don't have a number 
or anything after their name. So you've got the Bose QC45s, you've got the Bose, as they are over there, the QC Ultras, and then you've got the Bose, and you've also got the Bose QC, what are they called, Light or something, um, SE I think it is, and then you've got these, which are just the Bose Quiet Comfort, which is, which is confusing. Um, but what do you think about that colour? I don't love it. Um, it does seem to be very in at the moment, doesn't it? Like your, you've got your Kef, what, what are they? They're the LS Kef 50s. LS, uh, LSX2, I think. Oh, LX, oh, nice. So, yeah, they're... Um, yeah, and you had those, that Sonos recently, didn't you? In yeah. that sort of colour. Oh, so there it is. Very so, good point. Yeah, let's get it as well. This is nice, actually, because we can do stuff. Like <laughs> yeah, so that's the Sonos... Uh, is it the Move? I always forget what it's called. Yes, yeah, the Move, isn't it? The Move 2. Which I didn't know. I didn't realise that there is a, there's a definitely a green. It must be a, a seasonal thing. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not exactly yeah, fashionable. Someone's decided that colour is in. I, I mean, like I don't know why I'm not keen on it because I really liked the dark green iPhone 11 Pro. I don't know if you remember that from a few years back. I do remember it. Yeah. It was a lovely colour. Yeah. I thought at the time. Um, yeah, I'm not wild about it now though. They're a great pair of headphones, though. They're much better. They sound so much better than the QC45s. That's that's the one thing they've improved on. Everything else is the same. Um, the, you know, noise cancelling and pass through mode and all that stuff. They, they, they are basically the same headphones physically as well. They're no different to the QC45s, but the sound is is unbelievably better. I think. Um, but yeah, I'm surrounded by headphones now. Mm. No, what, what have you got? We will be doing a what's in your bag later, so we'll definitely do that. Yeah. I bought these. Oh, you brought them, fantastic. Look at that yeah. case. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty spectacular case. Is, that a, is it a metal case? It looks metal. Yeah. Give them a polish. So we, we've heard a lot about these. I think, I think you've, you've kind of revealed them once on the podcast. but. Um, so, I mean, I've, I've been a big fan of the Bang & Olufsen H series. I've got, like, H7s that I use, you know, generally. And... Uh, I think I got them off eBay from the B&O refurbished store for about 75 quid or something ridiculous, and I fell in love with them. Then the H9Is came out, and I got those, and they were just better in every way. And then they bought out these, which were ludicrously expensive, because they're PX8 slash Focal Barty monies. So they're sort of seven, 800 quid. Yeah. Um, but then I saw a deal on Amazon that got them to sort of less than AirPods Max money. Which is still a stupid amount of money to spend on headphones. But given that I like the previous ones, I thought I'd probably like those as well. And I do. I think they're superb. They're, they are not flat by any stretch. They've got a very definite Bang & Olufsen flavour, which happens to be what mm. I like. I think you'd probably like it as well. I have to give them a go later. Yeah. They've got very they're very pronounced bass and um, uh, scooped mids. I, I, I think you'll probably find it's... I've also, liking. I've just found the um, the dial as well. Ah, oh, yeah, the physical twisty dials. That's such a smart idea. I've, why don't all headphones do that? It's one of those things, isn't it, where you think, well, that, is that, why is why have they only just done this on these? That's nice. Love that. What, what is that for volume? And So you, one side is volume, the other side alters the amount of noise cancelling, so oh, okay. you can you know, dial in a bit of your environment or nice. block it out completely. They are a lovely. They they're almost too lovely to put on your head and, and use, aren't they? But um, well, I have to say, I do save them for special occasions. So yeah, I mean, as as we've discussed before, the headphones that I reach for nine times out of ten are the AirPods Pro too, because they're just always in my pocket. I'm also aware that lots of people want me to review these, and um, if anyone from Bang & Olufsen is watching, because we keep trying to get hold of you, please get in touch. Um, that that is a lovely thing, isn't it? It's the case is. Um, I mean, bearing in mind how obsessed I am with headphone cases and bad he headphone cases, and and bearing in mind that that I kind of determine how bad a headphone case is by how big and heavy it is. In theory, this should be a bad headphone case, <laughs> but it's not, is it? It's it's just it's just a lovely thing. I also assume. I don't think you take them out, do you, personally? Do you take them out anywhere? Or no, but apparently people have seen... Oh, who is it? Audio Geek on the Discord. He was at the gym and saw someone on the treadmill with, with a set on, which is complete insanity. That is insanity, yeah. More money than sense from sounds of it. Um, they're a lovely, I'll, I'll definitely have a listen to them. They're a lovely thing. Um, 
Let's should we quickly move off headphones because there's a lot on, there's a lot of stuff. We should also say in true um, eight or sixteen style, uh, there was no show outline this morning. Bearing in mind, Rob was heading uh, up here. You've had quite a journey already, haven't you? I have. Yes, <laughs> two hour journey to the studio. Commitment um, via taxi as well, which I think is just blowing my mind. Um, well, the, the trains are knackered due trains to industrial rubbish. action slash flooding slash yeah. It's a, <laughs> I looked up the trains. Was it yesterday? You were like, oh, are we still doing this? I was like, yeah, okay. Looked up the trains and um, it was like all, 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 all part of this journey is, will be by bus. And it was oh, wow. like four and a half hours. So I was like, yeah, no. Not Let's that. not bother. Don't blame me. But bearing that in mind, we didn't have anything on this list this morning. Uh, so it's, this is, even though we've, done, we've gone to quite a lot of effort with this, uh, we, it's... Yeah, it's still as disorganised as 8 or 16 always will be and always should be. Um, but we do have a lot of stuff on here. So let, let's crack on quickly with Apple in 2024. Because I, I, I wrote a little um, a little blog post this week about what I want to see. I think it was today, possibly. Uh, what I want to see from Apple in 2024. Um, I'm going to have to bring up my list again. Have you got a list off the top of your head that you, of things that you want to see from Apple ne- the next year? I think... Um I think I don't really care about anything except Vision Pro. I think that's the only thing that's going to matter next year. Well, there's, I think this is the first year I, that I can think of where we've got two guaranteed Apple launches. So we've got the iPhone, which is always a sir, isn't it? Um, but there's not normally anything else, is there? We never normally know. It's, nothing's guaranteed, but we, we know this time that Vision, Vision Pro is coming in the, in the, the first quarter, wherever it's going to be. Um, is that really the only thing that you want? There's nothing else at all. Uh, I'd I'd like it if they uh, did something fun with the Mac Mini. Okay. For reasons we'll get on to later, having mm. seen some other cool stuff recently. Um, but yeah, I was very disappointed when they updated the Mac, the Mac Mini to uh, to M2 because they didn't do anything with it. It'd be really nice if they sort of jazzed it up a bit, maybe mm. put it out in the iMac colours, yeah, or you know made it smaller because they could. I don't know if you've ever seen the inside of a Mac Mini, but it's all Tiny. air. Tiny stuff. So I think it's it's time, isn't it? So you think, like, when they first moved to Apple Silicon, they very cleverly, I think, used an existing chassis so that people felt comfortable moving from Intel to Apple Silicon because externally, you know, this is the same as the last mm. generation. Uh, this, is a, this is an M1 MacBook Air. Um, it, but, you know, it's the same as the, the, the final Intel version of the same. So they've facelifted that. They facelifted the pros. Surely, you know, they facelifted the iMac. Yep. Surely, it's time for a face. I mean, you could argue that the facelifted iMac is the Mac Studio. Mm, but, but, uh, yes, it's, you'd think so, wouldn't you? But there's still rumours about them doing some some more stuff with the iMac. But I know, I know what you mean. I know what you're saying. But man, I, I would like to, them to shrink it down to. You know, Apple TV. That's size. Size. Apple but maybe TV not that it. small. I mean, again, that is a bit. Maybe that like would be impressive. Earlier generation Apple TVs, which are a little bit sort of yeah bigger, weren't they? New colours, maybe as well. well the colours is, is the main thing I'd like to see. I think I think I need a Larry Orange <laughs> Mac Mini in my life. Having seen a, a Larry Orange iMac, a 24 inch iMac recently, that was yeah. I, I completely agree. I, I absolutely need one of those at some point. Um, I'll give you my list and just see what you think. So the, the first thing, um, I've kind of discounted Vision, Vision Pro and uh, the iPhone because they're guaranteed. And I'm, I'm excited mainly about Vision, Vision Pro like you, really. The things that, I, that aren't kind of guaranteed, but I think we need, the first thing is um, the M3 iPad Pro, which sounds weird because I've kind of you know, rubbished the M2 version. The reason for that, and as you can see, actually, I've been using the M2 iPad Pro loads recently. And it's total overkill for what I'm using it for. I'm not using it for video production. I'm not using it for making music. It's literally this sort of stuff, either podcasting or writing or doing stuff you could do, you could do with a 10th generation iPad, basically. But I love using it. And I love that it's complete overkill. And the idea of having of adding an OLED panel to that as well to make it even more decadent and an M3 chip, which no one needs. I just like the idea of that. I, I do think as well the iPad... Pro does need OLED. I think there's a lot, you know, the other, the competition has it. A lot of, you know, the Samsung tablets. Is, does the Sam, the tab have OLED? I'm saying that, maybe I've got that wrong. Um, regardless, I think it's time, personally. Does but that excite you? throw a spanner much? in the works, though. Yeah. There's going to be an iPad Air refresh with, there are sort of very quiet murmurings that there might be a 12 inch iPad Air. 
next year. Yes, there is one. Yeah, which might is. be more sensible for your use case. That's confusing. It's another iPad, though, isn't it? It's like another, yeah, another version to try and pick between. Yeah, I think there, there, people. There's, there are too many, aren't there? iPad Mini Seven. Oh, you've always been a big fan of the iPad Mini, haven't you? I do have it here. Um, let's get it out. You haven't got an iPad Mini, have you? I haven't got an iPad at all. Yeah, so I had a twelve. I had a. Um, I had a 2018 12-inch iPad Pro that I gave to my brother yep. um, when they were just before they were going to release the new Apple Silicon iPad Pros, and then they did just, it was, they just put <laughs> Apple Silicon in it. You know, the, they just put an M chip in it, and that was it really. So uh, I haven't bothered getting another one, and I haven't missed the one I had, even though I used it as my primary computing device for you a good did, didn't year. You? I remember now, yeah. That, does that not kind of make you want one? I mean, it's, that is very... It's a lovely size, isn't it? I think it remains one of Apple's best best products, personally. Is that, it, is that a... Uh, it's a paper-like. An, an OG paper-like. It is not sponsored. Uh, no, I think it's the, it's the second version, actually. Um, it's just, yeah, it's a, it's a lovely thing. But it is knocking on. I mean, that was 2021, wasn't it, I think? I've really chucked this around as well, and it's pretty much... There's no dents or dings and stuff, and it's, it's a really tough bit of kit. Yeah, that's good. What, what are you keeping in? Is that an Andar? It is. No, it's a Moft. Moft. It's a Moft. One of their kind of origami cases, um, which sounds ridiculous, but I, I use this all the time. So it's, it's a nice case anyway. I think it looks quite nice anyway. It does. It's a nice sort of leather leather-ish thing um, but you can do all this sort of stuff with it so you can put it like that you can use it as a, as a standard kind of um you know tablet mode all sorts of things but it's, yes it's, it's a lovely case again not sponsored but we will put links <laughs> in the description um so yeah but but like i say it is knocking on uh, the, the screen is okay it, it needs a better display uh, pro motion would be great but the thing that i really 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 want i'm really boring about uh, is a mini magic keyboard yeah that does need to happen, doesn't you it? You up for that? I think some people don't get it because the idea of having a keyboard essentially that big, I think some people see it seems a bit daft. But for me, it would be it'd be amazing. No, I get it. Yeah, like back in the day, do you remember when netbooks were a thing? I, I used to love netbooks. So I'd a I'd a Dell, a Dell Mini Nine, um, and that had. I won it. <laughs> I won it from Vodafone. So they, they had, they were running this I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> it's just, it's very weird, isn't it? So uh, they were running a, like a social media campaign. I think I stumbled across it on Twitter. Uh, and the campaign was like, where's Vodafone man? And it was just this guy going around the country posting selfies of himself in towns around the country. And I saw this one and I was like, oh, I know where that is. That, that was, there was a water tower that was five minutes up the road from me. Um, and you had to go and find him. You had to go and find him and, like, yell something stupid at him. Mm. I forget what you like, your hello Vodafone man or something. <laughs> <laughs> so I did. I went and I found him. I yelled hello Vodafone man at him. And then he gave me a Dell Mini 9 with a year's worth of, uh, I guess it would have been 3G connectivity at that time. Mm. Anyway, that thing was, was cool. It was lovely. Wow. So I used to play uh, Typing of the Dead on it. <laughs> What's Typing of the Dead? Typing of the Dead is like, uh, do you know what? I've forgotten the name of the game. House of the Dead. You know the Sega arcade machine oh, yeah, where you yeah. shoot, the, shoot the zombies? I don't know. It's yeah. like that, but instead of a light gun, you have to type words quickly and accurately in order to progress. Wow, okay. It's a bit niche. Yeah, I can see I'll put why a link I, to it, though. It's very fun. This. I'm pretty sure it's abandonware now. You can probably get it for free off various sites. I'm sure you can. Um, but yes, that would be a modern day... Netbook, netbook, but a much better one with a touchscreen and one that won't. Because netbooks, bless. I, I, I had two or three netbooks. I was, I was obsessed with them. I, I loved the idea of having those small things, but they all just died and disappeared, didn't they? And it was, it was a short-lived era, that really. But um, yeah, I, I just want a, a magic mini magic keyboard. The reason for that, actually, I, I, I might as well mention it now. Um, this isn't a, a podcast full of affiliate links, but this is an affiliated <laughs> product as well. It's, this isn't by design, I promise. Um, this is, I'd love to get your opinion on this as well. This is the Grams 28 City Pack. 
Okay, I've never heard of him. Now this has neither have I. Well, <laughs> I hadn't until Patrick Rambles, who um, we, we've had on the podcast before. If you haven't checked out his channel, please do. He's a he's a, an awesome tech reviewer. I, I hadn't heard of these until he mentioned them and said that they're just a they're a good brand to work with. But also, he's been using this a lot. Um, but it does divide opinion. Okay. So Jen, my girlfriend, hates it. But hates it mainly because of of this of the strap. She, it's got kind of man bag vibes, which it, yeah, I've never been that comfortable with. Um, and I know exactly what she means, but I can't stop using it. And I think I am turning into a man bag person. <laughs> but the reason I've got this out is um, this fits in there perfectly. The problem is that this is quite a big man bag slash tech bag. And carrying this around and your backpack, and if you go into the gym or your gym kit as well, is a bit of a pain in the backside. I'd love just to take this around with me. Because let's be honest, I am a man bag person now. Um, the reason I can't do that is because the iPad mini, as great as it is, is fairly useless to me just like that because I can't write blog posts on it. I can't really do I'm not going to do email on the, on, you know, on the, the, the um, display screen. But if that had that magic keyboard, that's everything I need. That'd be the one, wouldn't it? They could stick an M3 chip in it, and I could do, you know, I could edit videos on it and all sorts. Um, but yeah, that, that's that's my main. That's probably after after Vision Pro and getting that that out there and seeing it. I think the, the iPad Mini Seven is my main one. The other stuff very quickly. So M3 MacBook Air because it needs to exist now, doesn't it? The M2 needs to disappear. I think um, a redesigned Mac Pro because the current one. Either a redesigned Mac Pro or just get rid of it because all they've done is take all the Intel bits out and a bit like you were saying with the Mac Mini, just leave this cavernous space with tiny little, um, is it an M3, M3 Ultra? Mm. That's it, that's all they've done. It just needs to be shrunk. And, and also with that, with the Mac Pro, it's just, it, the, the, the audience for that must be so, so small now after the Mac Studio. I don't really get it. I know, I know the I.O. and the, the ability to have different, a few different cards and stuff in there. Even that has been reduced, hasn't it? I don't really understand why that still exists. I mean, the, what's, what's the, the beefiest chip you can put in a MacBook Pro now? M3 Max. I'm pretty sure that is now faster or as fast as a Mac Pro, isn't it? In its I'm, current form. I think so. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, that they've got to redesign it or get shot of it, basically, Tim. Um, M, this is a this is a big one actually, not for me, but I think for people who who are looking to buy a Mac Studio or a Mac Mini, an M3 version of both of those, so an M3 yeah. Pro and an M3 um, Max version of those, because if you want to buy a, a Mac Mini at the minute, or, or definitely a Mac Studio, it's it's a bit of a it's not the best time to do it, is it? But yet we don't know when they're going to be updated with the M3. Oh, I, I, one would imagine early next year. I think all the all the signs are pointing towards some sort of spring refresh for those machines that haven't already been moved over to M3. I think the Mac Mini and the, the, the Mac Studio need to be earlier than that. I think they need to be January. I think they've got to do it in January, just for the sake of people who need to buy them. Really, um, a space black Apple Watch Ultra Three. Is that three? Yeah, that's right. Oh, that'd be cool. All right, okay, I'll give you that. I wanted a black one anyway, but now we have the, the, the space black MacBook Pro, and I've seen that. It's got to be done, doesn't it? I don't really care if they don't do anything else to it. I'd love more battery life, obviously, but I think just, just being space black, it's got to happen. Probably won't, but... Um, a proper AirPods Max update, we've been through that, that's fine. Um, that's it, that's, that's everything on my list, actually, nothing else. Um, the iPhone, like I say, is a given. There's not really anything else they can do with the iPhone now, is there? Um, well, there's, there's talk of them, of engineering samples of under-display cameras. So, I mean, we won't see that for another few years, but it's, a bit away it's in the it? works, at least. Absolutely. Um, but, yeah, that was my list. So, your list is very short, then, but mine, mine's relatively long. But I, th I think, I think we're, we're being fairly fair with that, really. Yeah, well, I mean, just yeah, VR, mixed reality, that's kind of that's what I'm into at the moment. Absolutely. Next on the list, is this as good as the WAN show? I'm, I'm, I, keep thinking, I keep wondering about this, because we're kind of sitting in the same kind of... So either we're about to have dinner, <laughs> a romantic dinner surrounded by cameras and lights, or um, we are doing like a WAN show thing. Maybe this will get as big as the WAN show, Rob. Uh, WAN show with a K. <laughs> <laughs> There's your show title. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> Moving on. EE's special Apple TV 4K. So EE, for any American uh, viewers and listeners, is a UK carrier. It's a mobile network. Um, and they've got a special Apple TV 4K. Yeah. Is it their own? 
is it yeah well have a click on the link have a look okay let's do it so I mean, this isn't new. This has been seen in various places around the world. So I first saw this sort of thing being done for a company called, uh, or you know, a, net, a network called Salt in Switzerland, I okay. think. I don't know if you remember. They packaged it with their own remote. The, the, the name rings a bell, but I can't remember. So that, what, what was cool Why? about that at the time was that was when it was still the, the horrible old sort of glass, touchy, swipey remote. Mm. Um, and this remote that they were bundling with their special... Um, Apple TV was was genuinely better than the one Apple was shipping at that time. It makes less sense now because the current remote is actually quite good, I think. Mm. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's like Telecom in Germany, I in Ireland. They, there are various uh, you know sort of media broadcasting cable companies that, that that have done this before, where they've worked with Apple to uh, enable them to sell. An Apple TV with their, you know, with custom stuff in it. Right. So what this allows you to do with the EE is, uh, you know, you get out of the box. It's got the the EE TV um, app installed, and it allows you, it gives you like an electronic program card, so you can watch live TV. Oh. Um, you might even be able to record. I couldn't get you know confirmation on whether or not that was the case, uh, but certainly in the description of the app, it mm. says that you can you know pause, rewind, uh, you know. And, and record live TV. Um, you do need to have the... Oh, it doesn't seem to be available separately. Okay. You do need to have EE's broadband, and they are allegedly the UK's fastest broadband network. Um, but yeah, it gets, it's quite expensive. It does get expensive, doesn't it? So are they showing you pricing? Um, I found it very difficult to get hold of the pricing. No, it doesn't say. But I can, I can imagine it being fairly expensive because you, you've got to have everything else bundled in. Uh, and... So all you're getting really then is this is the remote and the ability. Did you say there's like a, a TV guide thing built into it? Yeah, so you can watch live TV. Hmm. Okay. Which would remove the need to do so. I, again, I don't know if you remember ages ago. I when I first got rid of Sky because they just annoyed me for the last mm. time. Um, I got the Apple TV and we were missing live TV. So I looked into how to get live TV. And there are, there are various ways to do You can get an, an encoder and you can have it running through a NAS and you can get an app that uh, you can run that will then allow you to play back recordings, watch live TV, that sort of thing. Um, never got around to it. Um, but now it seems that you, you can do it with EE. Hmm. If, if anyone's like. tried it, let us know in the comments. But um. Well, where, where things get even more interesting is that there's a new Freeview service coming out okay. next year in the UK. Um, and I forget what it's called. But everyone's got involved. So all your, your Channel 4, ITV, BBC, they've all got together hmm. to offer um, you know, an, an, an IPTV solution. Yep. That may or may not be watchable on Apple TV as and when that becomes available. Hmm. I forgot what it's called. It's got a very silly name. I don't know if you're aware of that. I'm not. No. The thing is with TV in this country, it's still all a bit broken, isn't it? Really. Are you still non-Sky? You are, aren't you? Because we are. We, we've we've not had Sky now for over a year, but perhaps a bit longer, about eighteen months. Don't miss it. They, they occasionally miss the um, the user interface now and again. I think with Apple TV, it's just the, it's the whole experience and the, you know, the integration with the, the ecosystem and your, your AirPods Max and all the rest of it. Um, yeah, I haven't looked back since, really. And it, it, the most important thing is Jen has picked up and used it without even complaining. And it, I think that would have been the litmus test. If she'd got fed up with it, as she did with, very quickly with um, Siri in, in the kitchen, having the, the home pod in the kitchen, which is now sat over there, hasn't been switched on for ages. Um, she ve within probably two weeks, she'd had enough to the point of saying to me, "I know this is your job, Mark, but can you please take this out of the house?" She hasn't done that with the t the Apple TV. In fact, she she enjoys using it, which for me that's that. Like I say, that's the that's the that's the test really. Yeah. Um, no, I have to say the we we don't miss live TV, <coughs> don't miss Sky. The the Apple TV box is the only TV conduit we have in the lounge, hmm. and it's been brilliant. Just does everything we needed to do. Completely agree. Oh, you, although you have bringing up the HomePod, which mm. is a product I'd completely forgot existed. 
I, yeah, maybe that would be on my list of things I would like to see from you. know, I've been going on for ages about either a HomePod with a display yep. or a HomePod speaker dock like the Pixel tablet and the speaker base. Thingy. Completely agree. Yeah, that should have been on my list. I, I did think that when I, when I said that. Again, the HomePod, you, you do forget it exists, don't you? Because it's, it's just a complete waste of time, isn't it? Such a shame. Um, <laughs> S24, the, the, uh, the, Sam, let's, let's talk about Samsung, Apple to Samsung. Um, you've still got your S23, haven't you? I do. You, you brought it with you? I've got one somewhere in the, in the, yeah. the drawer of um, this lovely grey colour. You, you got the blue one, didn't you? I've got the blue one, yeah. Let, let me go and get it might as well, while you're here. <laughs> so it isn't a case, but yeah, I, got, I, I really like this colour. I think it's, um, it's a nice colour. I have to try and not break the case as I get it out. Um, are you, are you caseless on yours? No, no, no. I'm, I'm all about the uh, the transparent polycarp, you know, the, the hard transparent cases. That's what I get involved with. Nice, don't maybe. Right. So, oh, yeah, I've just realised I've really, I've got a, obviously I went for the grey iPhone as well. I've, I've definitely got a thing about Very grey with that as oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like my, oh, and I've got the silver MacBook Air. Everything's very, everything's very green over here. But, um, that's the blue one, which I think is a lovely thing. Yeah, it's all right. It's not, it's no grey though, is it? <laughs> I, I embarrass I myself by by on camera by failing to. It's really difficult. Have you ever had the Samsung official polycarbonate case? Not for it's a while. Practically impossible. Yeah. That's, no, I can't do it. You have a go. <laughs> I don't want to break your phone. <laughs> try get that out. It's ridiculous, isn't it? I don't even want to try yeah. to be honest. But um, I like that grey. The grey is nice. Um, it's all about the new colours, though, isn't it? With the with the S twenty four, from what we've seen of the the, the kind of rumours and stuff. Is it uh, colours? The colours and also the sc the display is. Flat, isn't it? So, but yeah, well, so apparently it's going to have a, a titanium chassis because Apple have started that, heard trend. that before. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and a flush display, which I'd be very happy about actually, because I've I'm so over rounded displays. And although the S twenty three Ultra is less rounded than the S twenty two Ultra, yeah, if that goes away completely, I might be very happy. There's no rumours about the any more crazy camera things, are there? Any more moon zoom type stuff? Not that I'm aware of, but um. I still love that phone. I mean, I've, I've used it recently for a couple of couple of events, uh, events and things, and mm -hmm. um, it's just such a. It's, it's the display. I think when you go from the as good as the iPhone 15 Pro Max display is, when you go from that, still for me, I don't know about you, but when, when I go from that to the S23 Ultra, it's um, the Samsung is just top of the line. I think with the display, is it your favourite display or? Are you? I think yeah, I, I, it still is is just that little bit better. I think than the mm. than the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Yeah, well, we'll see what they do, but um, I'm I'm relatively excited about the S24. I think it's nice to talk about it. Uh, that's all we can talk. Is there anything else about the S24 Ultra? Is that is that it? There's no other meaningful. Well, I mean, a while ago there was there was talk that they might be considering putting Exynos back in for us here. Oh yeah, that was no, that is. But I haven't heard. I don't know what the situation is on that. I don't think anyone does really. It might just be scaremongering, just so that we're all really delighted when there's a proper Snapdragon yeah. in there. But yeah, so we'll see in January, I guess. Fingers crossed. It'll be interesting to see if they maintain their ridiculous trading offers as well. Mm, definitely. Because last year, what they was they were like, oh, it's crazy. Got like six hundred quid off or something by yeah. trading in the previous year's model, which is very good. It's great, isn't it? Fingers crossed. Uh, new Discord app. We go all all over the place, don't we? On this uh, new, new Discord app design, which I haven't seen. So I've not um, seen. no, I've not seen yeah, it yet. Been, not into Discord. I mean, you, you might not have it yet. I don't think I have actually. From the looks of it, no. But if you do, there's a there's a true black mode called Midnight. So not just dark, we're proper black for proper black, which you know might make a negligible amount of difference to one's battery life. Interesting, but okay. it also looks nice. So. That's what you need. Okay, that's Discord done. Uh, we haven't gone down any weird, like strange cul-de-sacs yet. <laughs> that will probably happen, but. But this been, oh yeah, oh, we will. Don't you worry. Maybe it's because we've got the cameras on. We feel a little bit more self-conscious because we've got three cameras on us. Who knows? Well, I'm completely weirded out because obviously I've watched hundreds of hours of your face, <laughs> and now it's in front of me. <laughs> it's a very unnerving experience sitting can, in your studio. I can only apologise nice, that right. you've watched hundreds, hundreds of hours of my face. <laughs> um, yeah, what, what does it feel like to be in the studio? It's very weird. It's bizarre. It is bizarre. Is it? Is it, you can be completely honest. Is it disappointing, or is it? Is it um, everything you hoped it would be? I, no, I think it's, it's as described. So, okay. particularly if you subscribe, if, if if you're subscribed to your, if one subscribes to your newsletter, then you you've seen behind the scenes anyway. So yeah, so I guess it was it, it wasn't it didn't like 
blown my mind because <laughs> I have I have pretty much seen everything. It's very cool to see your plaque in real life. That's yeah. a lovely thing, isn't it? It is out of shot at the moment, but yeah, that's a uh, yeah. Still don't know how how that happened really, but there's lots of things here that will kind of, kind of it's, it's like a history of the channel is all is dotted all over the place there's lots of little nuggets a lot of the stuff i just can't bring myself to throw away either um which is why it's such a mess um, you've seen them i mean you've seen the mess downstairs which is just full of boxes and stuff but there's lots of things in this room which um i can't i just can't bring myself to throw away throw away i have to at some stage because there's just too much of it but um Anyway, let's move on. The, uh, I'd like to do what's in your bag next, I think. Okay. I'd love to do that. Um, Unless you, do you want to talk about this? Well, I would like to talk about that tiny PC, just simply Go because I was mentioned. I was talking about how I'd like to see them shrink the Mac Mini next mm. year. I think I could be tempted by an M3 Pro, an M3 Pro Mac Mini okay. next time around. Yep. Um, so not, I'm not at all unhappy with my base spec M1, but... We had that. We had a recording recently, didn't we? That sort of went a bit glitchy. I, mean, I don't really understand why that happened, but I'm thinking that maybe with all of the stuff that you're, I'm, you're I'm, doing a lot with it, to I be might fair, be pushing it to them. <laughs> Having said that, we've done podcasts where we've obviously had our video. Um, I don't know. I think it might, it might it might have been back when we were still using Zoom because we tend to do it on Streamyard now, don't we? Mm. But. Um, one episode, I, I at the end of it, I discovered, or may even be halfway through, I discovered that I was accidentally running a Parallels Windows 11 virtual <laughs> machine. I had that running in the background yeah. on a with OBS. With you know, it, it shouldn't have worked, hmm. but it did. Um, but yeah, just that it's rattled me a little bit that for the first time ever, it kind of failed yeah. to do something. So I'm thinking maybe it's time to just give myself a little bit more headroom. And uh, yeah, go, go step up to an M3 Pro, or have a look for a you know discounted bargain M2 Pro. Mm. The ports would be handy as well. To be fair, the M2 Pro is fantastic. Ports. But yeah, well, okay. All right, let's see. Let's, let's given do that it. we're in person, because like normally, mm. I just sort of pull random stuff out of my crap gadget short drawer. But I thought I thought I'd bring some of them with me today. Well, or rather, just just because. People are nosy, aren't they? They oh, want to yeah. know what's on your desk. They want to know what's in your bag. The thing so, is, you always seem to have stuff just beneath your camera. You, I'll mention something, and you'll just happen to have a keyboard there or a mouse or a pair of headphones. Yeah. That, that, I don't know if you have all that stuff just there all the time. Or. I've, I've got two, um, two IKEA Alex draw units flanking me. Okay. Uh, and, okay. and, you know, so I've got a drawer with the keyboards in, drawer with the headphones in, drawer. So it makes it's sense. very drawer with old phones, and so everything is within arm's reach. So you don't just have it laid out all the time. <laughs> <you>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. I haven't really sort of got a plan for this. I just thought people might be interested. Just so obviously, it. I've come up, travelled two hours to come and do this today. Yep. So I thought I'd show you what I've got in my bag. So the first thing is the classic Kafili uh, yeah. extendable camera which we've talked about many times on the podcast but i thought because we're on video it might be nice to show it um which is just a lovely thing it's brilliant yeah you, you you got me onto that and we've got one in the kitchen it's it's always used and it's got the three most useful connections yeah well well, well this one's less useful now the lightning but yeah so you've got like mi a micro usb and yep. usb c Love supports it. up to 100 watts on the usb end um but yeah, I've, I've got several of those all dotted all around the house yeah, nice yep so that's quite good. And, and there's no particular order. I've got a... That's normally hooked up to a U-Green travel charger with okay. the flippy out prongs, which I first saw on Apple chargers back in the day and wondered why all plugs weren't like that. It makes so much sense, doesn't but, it? So this one only does 65 watts. Okay. It's got two USB-Cs and a USB-A. Uh, because their 100-watt one, A is quite a bit bigger, and B... The, doesn't have inexplicably doesn't have folding prongs. I don't know why their 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 twenty watt one, their thirty five watt one, their it's whatever weird, this one is, sixty five watt one. Yeah. But it's yeah, because it looks nice. I mean, there, there are lots of companies that do do those. So like, I, my previous go to would have been Anchor, but then they upset me with their whole Eufy camera security thing. So I don't tend yeah. to get involved with Anchor anymore. It's a nice design, that though, isn't it? But yeah, all, all plugs should do that. Totally agree. Yeah. Why don't they? That's really cool, isn't it? Um, I like that. 
It's reassuringly heavy as well. I like I like charges that oh, have got some heft. I've got a. <clears throat> I forget the capacity of this. Let's have a look. Twenty five hundred milliamp hour. Also from U Green. Okay. Again, not sponsored by U Green. Not sponsored by anything. Substantial that, isn't it? But um, that tends to go with me in my my bag if I'm leaving the house. So that's got enough juice. Display to... as well. I like the little display. That's nice. Oh yeah, it's got a little readout so you can see. And yeah, you've got like a USB A, a couple of USB Cs on there. That's the first time I've ever had a siren come past the studio. <laughs> and you ha you happen to be here, Rob? What's that all about? Oh uh, well, <laughs> brilliant. No, I'm I love still that. wearing my tag, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, AirPods Pro 2, obviously. Oh, here we, we go. seen this in the oh, flesh. Have in the flesh. So this is <laughs> amazing. Let's show that to the camera. So this is a, um, it's just an AirPods, just an AirPods Pro 2 case, but it's a, um, in, the, in the style of a cassette. I love that. So I, I can connect to yours here. On, on the, 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 the label. Awesome Mix Volume 1, which is from Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay. Very quickly on that, can we just, this, this is a, uh, a, um, a cul-de-sac, potentially. Uh, I've finally watched Gu Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. All right. Have you seen it? No, I haven't actually, no. Be, be prepared. I, when it first came out, which was probably like three or six months ago or something, um, I, I saw lots of people talking about it, saying just be ready for how emotionally charged it is. And I was thinking... It's, they're brilliant. I love, I've always loved Guardians of, the, Guardians of the Galaxy. And they are quite moving at times, but this one was apparently supercharged and really is. Really, oh. So just brace yourself for that. <laughs> People who've watched it will know what I'm talking about, but it's, um, I, it, yeah, I, it took me a few days to get over it, really? which I never thought I'd say that about Guardians of the Galaxy. Genuinely moving. But, um, I look for, yeah, for that reason, I love this case even more. If that isn't in your bag by the time you get home, Rob, there's probably a reason for that. What's the bag itself? We should talk about the bag. Oh, no, it's, not, it's not a fancy bag. It's, it's a not. bag I got given by uh, my employer. This is just a Dell laptop bag. I, I love the fact it's a Dell bag. You've come with a Dell bag. Well, it's, it's actually the bag <laughs> for my work laptop, which is a Dell Latitude something or other, which is quite nice, actually. Mm, it's nice. all metal. Oh, nice. But, um, yeah, no, I think when they these corporations buy laptops by the thousands, they just throw in a bunch of bags. But it's, it's a decent bag. I quite like the grey and blue... Sort That's of vibe nice. it's got yeah. going on, and uh, you can fit a lot of stuff in it. Oh, it's my, my stupid water bottle, my hydrate water bottle, which has got RTB, because of course it has. Oh, I, won't, <laughs> I won't even ask about that. <laughs> I don't know where to start with that. What's the, the purple thing you've just got? Oh, it's the, my, my play date. Oh, it's your play, of course you've got one, haven't you? So you can finally, you can finally play the game I made for you, which, uh, let me... See if I can yeah. bring it up. This is slightly embarrassing. My, my play date's over there, um, disused. So for people who aren't aware, you, um, you made a game, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you made a play date game, but you didn't just do that. You also um, did, you, you kind of did the theme tune, the 8 or 16 theme tune. Yeah, in, in, eight, in an 8 eight bit chip tune version of <laughs> the 8 or 16 jingle. You should just be able to hit A, okay. and it'll take you in. Right, okay. Welcome to the Mark Ellis Simulator. <laughs> People at home, let's let them see this. Okay. It's a bit slow. It's like, well, I'm not complaining, but... Um, oh, no, you wait. To get yeah, you start playing it. Oh, I have to start playing it. When, you made this ages ago, didn't you? I, did. I promised I'd play it, and I haven't ever played it. <laughs> <laughs> Find a phone so Mark can flush it. Oh yeah, so I made this around the time you dropped what was it, an iPhone SE in the toilet. Oh wow, well, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? It's even more about it. Yeah. So you'll notice that it gets a bit faster every time. Oh, it you, does. Uh, throw a phone down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the right key as well, isn't it? Oh yeah. I Wow. <laughs> if people are still watching this and listening to this, I'm <laughs> you've got stamina. Um, how do I stop it? Oh, yeah. I, I, oh, there we go. Yeah. Um, it's such a cool little thing, though, isn't it? Yeah, Always, yeah. Even though I don't ever use mine, it's um, very... Are, are they still making the game packs for it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can still, there's, there's, um, there's like an app store for it. They still haven't released the dock, 
when they first announced oh, yeah. it, they said there was going to be a, like a Bluetooth speaker, pen holder, dock thing that it would magnetically mount on and yeah. possibly charge. I can't remember. But yeah, no, that still hasn't materialised. But yeah, no, a very fun little thing. Yeah. Well, that's part of the uh, backbone into which goes the okay. S23 uh, Ultra. Yeah. Okay. And that's pretty much all I use it for, which is a <laughs> criminal misuse of the S23 <laughs> Ultra. But the iPhone does everything else I need it to. So I don't know, have you played with one of these? I haven't, no. You've shown it a few times on the... Yeah, so people can see this as well. It's a um, game controller, isn't it, which you can use... Yeah, so you just, you just whack your phone. your phone in there, and then you can play anything that supports a Bluetooth controller. So, you know, your Apple Arcade it'd work with. Yep. Uh, you know, if you've got a subscription to any cloud gaming services, you can do all of that. Nice. Generally. Nice and light as well. It's not too, um, that, add that, too much it's, bulk, does it? It's a really nice thing. It's probably, you know, I mean, if you've got lady hands like I have, it's fine. But I think, you know, if you've got sort of meteor fingers, it's probably not, <laughs> not what you need. But, is, that, um, is that the contents? Is that everything? Well... Almost. So one is okay. I've got your I've got your silly present. <laughs> so you have to close yeah, your yeah. eyes. Okay. And put, I'll pop it in front of you. So apologies for the stain of the box uh, that, that happened. I didn't, I didn't have time to wrap it. Still got my eyes. Do okay. my eyes remain closed. You can, you can now have a look. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Magic Mouse two charging base. So okay. The two the two problems with the Magic Mouse are one, it's an ergonomic disaster. Yep. Two, it's horrible to charge. And I suppose three, it's, it's a crap mouse. It's but crap, yeah. this, well, hopefully, I, mean, I assume you've got one knocking around. Probably I've got not about charged. three, and most of them don't work because I've been I've thrown them around <laughs> so much in videos. But um, I think one of them does work because I used it on my, during my iMac test. Uh, this is very kind of you, Rob. Thank you so, so much. So what, what you can do with that is um, you know, stow your magic Let me get one. <laughs> kind of haphazardly lobbed into a drawer and forgotten about, but it's obviously on the table out there. Uh, okay, so how does this work then? So, see, this is why 8 or 16 should always have been on camera. <laughs> this is how good it would always have been. This has got an interesting smell about it. Oh, well, that's, that's standard cheap shell case smell. New, not complaining, obviously. Oh, okay. Oh. So, it, okay, so it goes... Goes in there. So there. So there's it. a little um, uh, lightning because obviously the, the magic mouse is still lightning. Little lightning connector in there. So that goes on there, and then yeah, it makes it slightly less horrible to hold. And it's got the kind of you can it's got the holes, so everything still works. You can still use it. In fact, it's that's ergonomically quite quite impressive. It's better, isn't it? But also, it makes it magsafe, so you can just no. you can magsafe it on a on a charger. Right, right, right. It's the wrong way round to put it on there. I want it to go on there. <laughs> <laughs> why, why doesn't it do that? That was my immediate thought. I can take my magic mouse <laughs> everywhere on the back of my phone. Okay. Yeah, no, okay. you got Again, I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, so look, you, could, you could stick it on there. I could stick okay. And then, uh, yeah, it should, should make it MagSafe wireless charging. It's also got I, mean, a, I imagine it would knacker the, the battery in it because it's not designed to be, the, the mouse itself is not designed to be kept in a, hmm. in a case like that. So I imagine heat might be a long-term concern. But I thought, I saw it and I thought, I know, I know a guy who needs one of those. <laughs> there is a very peculiar smell, which I'm not worried about. Um, what's this for? Oh, okay, so it's got a, it's got a carry case. Oh, so hang on a minute. This is, it gets better, doesn't it? Because this has got... <laughs> I'm a bit obsessed with. I've got a carry case for my uh, MX Master Three, which yeah. has been one of the best things I've ever bought. So to have that for <laughs> a Magic Mouse with a little lanyard thing and a carabiner, what do they call them? So you can stick that on there. Oh, this has made my Christmas, Rob. This is amazing. And then you can put that on there. What a present! We were saying earlier that the the debt the um cupboard behind me is full of the stuff that you've bought me previously for for birthdays and things <laughs> like cushions and apple watch yeah, bands and the, stuff um yeah, I can't yeah, that a minute. that's shelf. um that is I, I do i genuinely like this it makes it but it, it just fixes everything you just the whole it's, it's a proper mouse now so i don't know i thought that might be worth a short or something that I think fun be, thing well, have fun with that thank you but very much which I think you'll enjoy a lot. It's not something you're ever like. Oh, actually, hang on. Here's my little hard drive thing that I made. You know, my, my DIY oh, yeah. four terabyte SSD. The cases. 
Very nice. That is almost as fast as the native SSD. How does that open? I don't want to break it. Um, that's, that's very. I, I like a case of stuff. It's it's good, good stuff. Oh yeah, you had um, you had a dock. It was like a an expansion dock with a M2 slot in it. I did indeed. Yeah, yeah no, it's nice. That is nice. Nice stuff. What yeah, this is what I thought here? you might be interested in. It looks like so. This my is part. Do you, do you know? Have you, do, do you remember this? This is quite niche. Let's uh, show show the audience. So yeah, sorry, my my kids have been at it, so they're a bit, bit sort of chewed and covered in jam. Should I remember this? Well, you might not. So this is a toy from about fifteen years ago. It's called a Zizzle Zounds, and they only made it for a couple of years, and then I think they went bust. Um, but the reason I thought it would be up your street is okay. You've gone to a lot more effort for this podcast than I have, Rob, as usual, which I'm... It comes with this base. Right. If, you press... if you press this button here, okay. that'll, that'll turn it on, and then you'll see some lights come on. And if you place these pieces on, on one of the three things, okay. different uh, audio loops will play. Okay. Right, so check okay. that out. This is a little bit like um, we've bought Harrison, our son, a, what's it called, a Tony box recently. Have you seen those? Oh, the Tony box, yeah. yeah. This reminds me a little bit of that. We went with Yoto. Yoto, okay. Which is the same thing. So, yeah, so the Tony box is like an audio book player, isn't it? Um, that you put the little figures on. Okay. So you just place these on here. This isn't ringing any bells for me at all. Is it not? I, it? I think it was quite obscure. We're of a similar era, aren't we, in a... Can you place them anywhere? No, no, so just those three, okay. three spots. Is, is this volume? Yeah. What's that do? <laughs> so yeah, so depending which piece you put and where you put it, you'll get a different loop and you can make all sorts of fun combinations. Don't leave this here, I'll get no work done. <laughs> speak, you can just go, you can go to the pub yourself. I'm going to just sit here and do this. <laughs> it's got its own light show as well. Yeah, oh, it's, got, it's got a clock. You can use it as an alarm clock. So you could you can set you could set up the pieces and then have it wake you with your own composition. Okay. But yeah. Where did you get this from? I think, as I say, I got it about fifteen years ago. Two thousand six. Yeah. Isn't it? So yeah, so more than fifteen years ago. I think I got it on Firebox. Fire and the Firebox. Okay, the fire are they still box. going? Firebox. They are still going. They used to do really cool stuff, but now it's just sort of generic gifts. But they used to find the coolest, weirdest things, didn't they? I've set some kind of <laughs> clock uh, alarm thing going there, so it'll probably wake you up at four o'clock in the morning. But uh, that is... <laughs> oh. Of all the things I was expecting you to bring today... I, I was expecting just the mic, really, but um, yeah. <laughs> you've gone to town. I'm impressed. Awesome. We'll put some sort of... I'm not sure what link we'll put in the, <laughs> the description for that, but um, this, this is amazing, though. That's brilliant. Um, <clears throat> what else have we got on the list? How long have we... Have we it's, it's weird doing this in person because it feels like it's... Normally, we've, I know when we've gone to an hour, not in a bad way, but we just it's quite obvious. I've got no idea how long we've been going for. But um, hopefully people are still watching. Yeah. Well, um, I don't think we can top that. <laughs> we'll leave it I don't think we can. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? Well, we, we, we did ask the Discord server. Um, so for people who are on the Discord, um, hello, I'm sure you're watching this. You, you definitely would have got this far. Um, we did, I, I did kind of hastily ask for some questions. And when I did it, they didn't know that we were doing this live and that we're making this YouTube channel. So it's going to hopefully be a bit of a surprise. Um, but that's why we were being a little bit vague about it a couple of weeks ago. Um, having said that, we've only had two questions. <laughs> um, because they're all working, they've all got proper jobs. And uh, that's fair enough. Um, so let's go through these, these two questions. Uh, one is from Gavin. And Gavin says, uh, what is the one piece of tech you were most excited before buying, but most disappointed with after buying or, I guess, receiving? Have you got anything that springs to mind? I need to, I need to have a think about this one. Not sort of ever or this year? Yeah, it's, it's not clear, is it? You just, just, just say this year. Answers, could, could answer this. So this year would be the uh, S23 Ultra. Okay. Why, why, why the most disappointed? Because um, I, still can't, I still can't use it to take photos of things that are moving. Uh, true. That's a fair point. And I, I really point. thought they might have fixed it. Yep. But they didn't. Um, but generally, 
pretty much anything I've ever bought from Microsoft, <laughs> except for, except for the sculpt keyboard, which is the one thing I haven't brought with me today. You know, my, my weird ergonomic bendy keyboard, yeah, yeah. which that thing just oh, touch wood was, will not die as I've been using that key. Many other keyboards have come and gone, but I just keep going back to that one because it just keeps working. Um, but the Surface, the Microsoft Surface, mm. was you know lovely hardware, just a completely wacky design, and uh, just but it was it was so ill. Just everything mm. went wrong with it over time. It was. That was not a good product, and I'm not alone in that. I know there are obviously going to be tens, hundreds of thousands of people. Who go, I've had a Surface Pro for however long, and it was, it's been the best computer I've had. I'm sure that, that's good. I'm happy for you. My experience with every Surface device that I've had, and that's three of them, is they've all been dreadful. Um, <laughs> and it's not like I don't look after my stuff. You know, this, this, this is not a user error thing. It's or I'm, I might just be very unlucky. Um, but yeah, I think of of all time, hmm. the, the biggest disappointment for me was. Uh, was that whole sort of mid Surface Pro era when I when I tried to go all Microsoft all of the time? Yeah, and it just nothing worked properly. You've talked about it before, and it's, it's always it's never been in glowing terms. Well, it's been in sort of um, it, it was it should have been so great terms, but it was crap basically, mm. which is a crying shame. Um, for me, I think this year it's always hard for, for me with this because I get sent so much stuff. Most of it's good to be fair, but some of it isn't. I think in terms of what I've bought. Probably the HomePod, the big HomePod, which it, I mean, as a thing, it's it's lovely. It's a lovely bit of hardware. Sounds good, although a lot of people say it doesn't sound as good as the first gen, which I can't compare personally because I didn't have the first gen. Um, it's just the Siri experience completely makes it utterly, totally useless. And the fact I haven't bothered setting it up properly in here, because in here I, I use um, Alexa on the on the Sonos stuff. I've got no, I've got absolutely no inclination to use it at all. So that's probably this year, I think ever. When when you were talking about the Surface, I did my attention did turn to just down there. I've got the Surface Laptop Three, I think it is the one that you may remember. Oh, yeah. So what, I bought it to review it. That review was good. in terms of a, a purchase for this business, it was very successful because the the you know, the content did well. In terms of a, a purchase to actually use properly and enjoy using, it's been utterly useless because it lasted about two months um i used it for a bit and then my girlfriend had it and she was doing some i think she was editing a word document or something doing something really mundane really microsofty on it and it, I, I was upstairs and i just heard this um mark can you kind of can, can <laughs> quick look at this uh, laptop and she's and god's honest truth from her she said all, all i was doing was typing something and it just reset itself went straight into a blue screen and then since then, we cannot work. I cannot work out how to get it out of that blue screen. Can't work out a way to, to reboot into. It won't reboot into safe mode. It, it's. I, I can't seem to. I've tried all of the repair options, all of the getting back to normal options. Nothing works because she was typing something into a word document. And it, for me, it's just that thing of having experienced that with Windows many years ago, and then gone to the Mac and iPads and things where you just you just don't see that stuff. To have given Windows one more chance. 25 years later and for it to do the exact same thing and mess me around maybe that should be my least oh. favourite purchase okay well there you go just the sorry surface. Microsoft <laughs> well never going to be sponsored I don't, by I, don't, I don't know what they're doing with, with Surface now there's been some new stuff hasn't there there has been new not things really. has there not no they, they, they refreshed their um, their ARM powered models you know the sort of Windows equivalent of Chromebooks and I th well, I think they put out a new studio. You know, the, well, the articulated hinge, the big things, sort of updated that sort of stuff. Mm. But um, now Panos is gone. He was Mister Mister Microsoft, wasn't he? He's left, isn't he? Who? I what? What are they going to do? Just, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, yeah, I just I, can't I, get excited I wonder, about I it. I wonder if they've given up on Surface now. Maybe they have. Possibly. Um, we've got to the end of the list. We've done it. We've done our first in-person 8 or 16. We should say this, that um, this is probably going to be the high, highest produced version of this, <laughs> of 8 or 16 on YouTube because you're here. And uh, to put it in context, I think as we mentioned earlier, Rob lives two hours away from me. Um, we will do it again, definitely, but uh, it's going to be 
So it's, well, it's going to be StreamYard, let's be honest. It's going to be an online thing. But um, if you haven't subscribed, guys, please do. We want to hopefully build this channel and grow it as much as we can. Um, but yeah, I, I think, is there anything else, Rob, we can talk about while you're here? Anything else we can do? There's not, is there? Um, I don't think so. I, uh, I've done my show and tell. You've done it. <laughs> I've just realised I meant to put on the Apple TV and have the, the lovely uh, drone uh, 4K screensavers going. Completely forgot to do that, so we've just had a black TV in the background. We've got a bit of work to do before this comes the WAN show, I think, really. Yeah. Or um, This Week in Tech, but we're getting there. So, anyway, cheers, Rob. Thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, thank you.